is the Champions League week and we have four fixtures lined up for you guys uh, that are going to be played this week. On Tuesday, we have Barcelona versus PSG and Borussia Dortmund versus Atletico de Madrid. On Thursday, Wednesday, we have Manchester City versus Real Madrid and Bayern Munich versus Arsenal. So today, we are going to discuss about or analyze about all the games between PSG or rather Barcelona versus PSG and Borussia Dortmund versus Atletico de Madrid. First, let us run into it and start with the big game on Tuesday that is Barcelona versus PSG. Barcelona, a team in form, are welcoming Paris Saint Germain, the, the French are champions in, uh, in a, I can say it's a, a crunch time, and uh, it's going to be an interesting match by the way between these two great clubs. And Barcelona won the first leg at the Parc de Princes with three goals to Two. Remember, uh, Rafinha scored two goals, and uh, also Andres Christensen scored the winning goal for Barcelona. PSG's goals were scored by Vitinha and the former Barcelona star man, that is Osman Dembele, who scored for uh, PSG. And indeed, he celebrated, and he was criticized by most of Barcelona fans who said that he is a traitor, and they stood by him when he was injured and when he. Uh, was at Barca, but his, when he moved to PSG, he scored against them and celebrated. And celebrating against your former team is always a show of disrespect in some people's perspective. So, it's going to be a good game as the Osman Dembele returns to, uh, to Barcelona to hunt his former team. Will he hunt his former team? That is the talking point at the moment. Barcelona are going into this game uh, with a great form as they are unbeaten in their last 13 matches. They are on a 13 game unbeaten streak and they are uh, welcoming PSG with a very impressive form and they have won their last five games in all competition. So it is five out of five for Barcelona. On the other hand, PSG, they have won three times, drawn once and lost one. That loss come against Barcelona. And remember, PSG will not or have not played any game since the 3-2 the loss at home against Barcelona. And they are facing Barcelona with fresh legs as they did not play this weekend. But Barcelona, they played Cadiz on Saturday and uh, they won the game. Uh, Joao Felix, incredible overhead kick goal, uh, was enough to secure the three points for, the, uh, for, the, for, for Barcelona. And meant that they are now second in the league with 70 points having played 32 games they are just eight points um below league leaders real madrid who also won one nil against Mallorca on saturday the Hauren shamanese beautiful strike in the second half was enough to win it for the los blancos so barcelona are going into this game in a fine form as they are having five clean sheets in a row in la liga that is mark andre test against great work and the the same few the, the, the defensive uh, partnership of Paul Kubazi and Ronald Araujo has been impressive for Barcelona since the 3 5 loss to Villarreal at home uh, in, in La Liga. So, Barcelona have not lost any game since 27th of January when they lost to Villarreal, to Villarreal, and since then they've been on a good run as they have, are unbeaten in the last 13 games in all competitions. This is a great run for the great club uh, in our history. PSG, on the other hand, they are first in their league with their 63 points. Yeah, they have 63 points and they are 10 points ahead of uh, the second place that is, uh, I don't know the team, but they are around 10 points and they've played the game less. So uh, I think for them, uh, the French League One, uh, they, they've won it already. And I think uh, League One is not competitive enough and uh, PSG is almost dominating uh, season in, season out. So for that, that's, that's, that's why I think they did not even play a game this, this, this weekend as their priority is to win their first ever Champions League in their club history. And they have a hill to climb or the mountain to climb when they are facing Champions League heavyweights Barcelona who have won it five times. So uh, and they're also trailing with a goal behind and they are playing at away. So it's going to be a tricky game for Barcelona and they'll they'll be needing their star players that is um Osman Dembele, uh Kilan Mbampe, uh Randal Goncalo Ramos to turn up 
and uh, cause havoc to Barcelona and I know I win the game. Barcelona needs just a draw for them to qualify in the next round of the Champions League. But for PSG, they need a win. It's a must win for PSG if they are to eliminate uh, Barcelona in this Champions League quarterfinals. It doesn't matter how they win it, how many goals they score, but they need to win. 1-0, 2-1, 3-2. They need to win it. And they need to win it big uh, for them to uh, qualify in the next round. They need to win it big because they are trailing by one goal. That means they need to score at least two goals uh, and with no response from Barcelona. So uh, it's going to be a tricky game. Uh, Barcelona considering more than three goals, two goals is going to be tricky. So let's watch and see how the events will unfold. First leg, I think. Uh, Barcelona defense that is Paul Kubasi, Araujo, uh, Joao Cancelo and Jules Kunde did a very impressive uh, job to keep Kylian Mbappe at bay uh, with Mbappe uh, having zero shots on target against Barcelona at at home. I think it was his first performance of the season uh, as far as I'm concerned and uh, since uh, his announcement that he'll be leaving PSG at the end of the season I think uh, his, 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 his performance has been uh, uh, you know uh, below average or rather average and uh, I think uh, it's being demoralized by the way it's, it's getting treated by manager Luis Enrique, uh, being benched in the league sometimes and uh, being sub subbed off sometimes in the league. So I think uh, Mbappe's morale and has been um, down of late and I think uh, PSG need him in full against Barcelona if they are to uh, win by two by more than two goals against Barcelona. He is the key man for PSG in this tie. If Mbappe had a great, will have a great game against Barcelona, then I think uh, PSG will uh, will advance to the next round of the, of the of the Champions League. But if he will not have a great game and will be kept silent by the defense of Barcelona, I think uh, Barcelona or the PSG will have a tough tough time coming up against uh, Barcelona. So I think. Uh, PSG is at, at, a, at a more risk uh, in that tie because uh, they need to score goals and by doing that, that means they need to attack. So by attacking, you already um, leaving more spaces in behind and uh, you are more prone to uh, counter-attacks and Barcelona, we know they can kill you and they can ha have they can harm you in those counter-attacks by Rafinha, or Joao Felix, Tobias Lewandowski and Ayala Mila Yamal. Uh, running in uh, the flanks. So, um, Barcelona PSG, I think, uh, I, I'd be going for a draw in this game, if I'm not wrong. Uh, I think uh, Barcelona will be playing uh, defensively, and also uh, they'll be using, they'll be um, depending on counter attack because I think PSG will go all out, and with the PSG going all out, I think Barcelona uh, will give in sometimes, and also Barcelona, PSG will be leaving spaces in behind, and, uh, Barcelona will get a chance of scoring. So I think uh, it might end up as a draw, but all in all, I think Barcelona will go through and uh, in the next phase because, uh, as I said earlier, I said that uh, the team that wins at Parc de Princes will uh, advance advance to the next round. And indeed, it was Barcelona who won at the, at the Parc de Princes. And I think uh, now Barcelona have a chance of advancing the next round. I think it's a, a scenario of 70-30%. Uh, 70 for Barcelona to advance and 30 for PSG to advance. So I think Barcelona have a chance, chance of advancing the next round. And they have quality players and they have what it takes to qualify for the next round. Lewandowski is fit enough. He didn't play against Cadiz as he was suspended. So he is fit and uh, has fresh legs to start. Joao Felix, you saw, he's got a get goal. Amelia Yamal, Rafinha is back. Ferran Torres. So Barcelona is all packed. They have all their players back. Only Gavi is out. Uh, Frankie De Jong is back. Uh, Pedri was back with a great assist against Barcelona against PS in the first leg. Uh, Gundogan is all fit. Tastagen, uh, Araujo, and Paul Kubasi, Jules Conde, Joa Cancelo, who is also available after missing the Cadiz game through such suspension. So I think Barcelona, they have their star players back and they are all packed and ready to go. So I'll be going for Barcelona to win and qualify in the next round of the Champions League.